Okay, today we nearly get destroyed by a Dragonair of all things, but that doesn't mean we lose the battle. Stick around to find out what happens with our Dragonair because seriously, Terra Normal Dragonair, that's what I'm going to tell you, is amazing. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, we're having a PU game versus a Lionel 23 from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump to the team preview. Okay, Richie's team is absolutely fire. He's got a Dedenne, Amphro, Swart, and a Dragonair, Houndoom, and a Vigoroth. Pretty awesome looking team. This is our squad you saw at the beginning. Um, it's a pretty powerful team. It works really well. Um, once again, I see there's no ground types on the team, so Magneton's going to have a fun time. I don't believe Dedenne gets Lightning Rod. I think it's Togi Demario that gets Lightning Rod um, out of the Pikachu clones, uh, amongst other things. Um, so I think I'm going to lead with Magneton. We are out of speeding pretty much everything on the team. Houndoom, I have been seeing a lot of Scarfed Houndoom, so if they leave with Houndoom, we've got to be careful of that. But other than that, I think we're pretty safe to go into Magneton. And the battle begins, so Richie's going to lead off with the Vigoroth as we let off with the Magneton. So not a bad matchup at all. And um, we can definitely outspeed this thing, go for a Volt Switch if we want to, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Going to go straight for that nice and powerful Volt Switch, get some damage off on something, it should be a good game. Volt Switch comes through. We do outspeed, of course, because we're a Magneton. That does really good damage. Wow, that does really good damage. Crazy damage, in fact. Um, so what we're going to do now is, expecting a normal type move of some kind. Um, no, they probably wouldn't go for a normal type move. They'd probably go for a fighting type move or a Shadow Claw or something along those lines. Um, I think my best bet is to go into my Lycanroc, get the Stealth Rocks up. I think they're going to be really useful this game. I don't see a Hazard Clear on their team, so I think that's definitely something I could do. Um, but I'm also thinking, let's play it safe and go into Donald. Let's go into old Donald Duck over here, the uh, Quack Quaxwell. Quaxwell, is that what it's called? Quaxwell, I believe, yeah. They go for Shadow Claw, good job going into Dracloak, as uh, we're going to eat out because we're physically defensive with an Inviolite. And we eat those up every single day of the week. So, let's go for a Liquidation and um, just destroy this thing's life. They go for a Slash, it's not going to do much damage. We go for a Liquidation, destroys the Vigoroth's life. So, Quaxwell is actually pretty good in the PU tier. Um, it's surprisingly good. I actually put it on my, in, in, um, on my tier list that I did uh, yesterday. I put it on there um, as being pretty good in PU, and it is pretty good to be fair. So we cross the vigor off, off the list, which is great. In comes Dedenne. So Dedenne is a big threat to Quaxwell, obviously. Um, we don't want to stay in here, no way, Jose. It's an electric and fairy type, so I think Magneton can hold it. It's only against it pretty well. So we'll go into Magnezone real quick. Magnezone is a great switch into Dedenne, to be honest with you. So um, we'll go into Rookie, the uh, Magneton. And also, I, need, I, need to, I don't know whether I said at the start of the video, because I always record my outro last. I, I always record my intro at the end of the battle. But my voice is gone. Completely gone. So I'm so sorry if I'm destroying your ears with my voice right now. So let's go for a Volt Switch anyway. Um, they do stay in, which is interesting. What are they going to go for? That did a lot of damage as well, which is great. So Magneton's a really cool Pokemon in this tier. Um, I love running Choice Scarf on it, because it catches people off guard loads. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do here, so I need to get something in that's not going to be caring about... They probably go for a Super Fang, right? So I need to get something in that's not caring about Nuzzle too much. Um, nothing really wants to take a Nuzzle. Oink alone can probably take any hit this thing wants to throw at us. Um, but we can't really do much in re regards to taking it out. I think for Oink alone to get any, uh, any, any work in this game, we need to get rid of the Swallot. So we'll have to find a way to get around that. Let's go Lycanroc. I think Lycanroc's a good mount. Um, even if we get nuzzled, it doesn't really matter too much. So we'll go into Lycanroc real quick. There we go. Lycanroc comes through. They go for a Volt Switch, which is absolutely fair. That's absolutely fine by me. Go for your Volt Switch. Get on out of there. Bring in the best Pokemon you can. In comes Swallot. So that's actually a pretty dangerous one for them. Because we could easily go for a Drill Run right now. I don't have Drill Run, but we could have it. Um, I think I'm going to go for a Taunt. Stop it from setting up Toxic Spikes. I think that's the best thing to go for. So we'll go for a Taunt real quick. Stop it from setting up the Toxic Spikes or going for Toxic or anything like that. Um, as they try to go for an Acid Armor, which is definitely not what we wanted. So um, we'll go for a Stealth Rock real quick. Get those rocks up on, our side, on their side of the field. They have no Hazard Removal as far as I'm aware. Unless one of those Pokemon they've got left knows Defog somehow. Um, but they go for a Body Press, which is of course going to be doing a lot of damage to us. Um, I'm just going to go for the Stone Edge just to get some damage off on this thing because we do need to get this thing out of the way for Oink alone. So getting some damage off on it is going to be really important as they go for a body press and just completely destroy my Lycanroc's life. So Lycanroc does go down, which is unfortunate. 
But it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. So, this is where the magic happens. This is where we go into our well-trained doggo houndoom and we just fire blast away. But we don't. We don't do that, actually. We don't do that. I think, I think our best bet, looking at how much st damage that Stone Edge did, I'm pretty sure Outrage will KO. So I'm going to go into Dracloak real quick. They have no real switch-ins other than Dedene, and even if they go into Dedene, we're not in a bad position. So we'll go Dracloak real quick. Dracloak is actually really good in this tier. Um, I'm going to go for an Outrage just to try and get the KO. They do stay in, which is great. We go for the Outrage. Take out the Swallow, which is absolutely amazing. Dracloak putting in the finest of work right now. Unfortunately, though... This doesn't mean they get a free switch in with their Dedene because it's a fairy type and it's immune to dragon. So we got the Swallot out of the way, which paves the way for Oinkalone to do something really cool here. So Dedene is going to come in right now. Obviously, it's going to get hit by Stealth Rocks. Um, it's going to get hurt by an Outrage. Not really. It's immune to Outrage, but, you know, it's going to get attempted to be hit with the Outrage, which is unfortunately not going to work. Um, as they're able to go for a uh, Nuzzle if they want to and paralyze our Dracloak, which is really unfortunate. But what can you do? Um, as they go for a Dazzling Gleam. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't KO, but it does. It gets a crit. I don't think the crit mattered because Dracloak is extremely frail. So I don't think that crit mattered. So we'll, we'll, we'll look past that real quick. Um, now I'm thinking Oinkalones look good. But Nuzzle is a problem. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Houndoom is a good one. So let's go Houndoom. We'll go Houndoom real quick. There we go. Houndoom comes through. Um, they probably go into their Houndoom of their own. So, I'm inclined to go for a Dark Pulse just to get some damage off. Um, if they do stay in for some reason, I don't think they would to Nuzzles. They lose their Denene. Um, I think I go for a Dark Pulse expecting the Houndoom to come in. They go for a Nuzzle anyway. They are going to, like... Uh, uh, as we go for a Dark Pulse... <laughs> And that nearly kicks out of the Dene. So, Dark Pulse is still going to hurt their Houndoom. It does about a third of its health, um, from my experience. So, they go for a Super Fang. They're not really bothered about the Dene being alive anymore, which is fair enough. We go for another Dark Pulse. That's going to take out the Dene. So, um, we got rid of the Dene, which means if we had Dry Cloak, it could run rampant. But we don't, unfortunately, have Dry Cloak anymore. Um, Dragonair is a big threat. We've got to watch out for Dragonair with its uh, Dragon Dancing shenanigans. We do have Encore on our um, Quaxwell. But obviously, it's not quite as good as, you know, this is. So, um, anyway, Houndoom's on his death doors. Let's go for a Dark Pulse. We should have speed still. We unfortunately get fully paralyzed, which is a real shame. Um, as it means they're going to be able to go for a Thunderbolt and take out Houndoom. So, Houndoom goes down. Houndoom is such a big threat in PU right now. It's actually unbelievable. Houndoom is on every team, pretty much. So, so, we've got an option. we got to go Oink alone. We're going to go Magneton. I think Magneton's probably the best bet. Hmm. This is a tough one. This is a real tough one. So, I, I want to go Oinkalone. I really do. Let's go Oinkalone. Let's go Oinkalone. Oinkalone can come through. I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong, but Oinkalone can come through right now. Looking all big and powerful. Let's go for a Stuffed Cheeks real quick. And um, we'll just uh, eat our berry, get a defense boost, get a speed boost from the Slap Berry itself. Defense rose sharply, which is great. And we're going to boost our speed with the Salak Berry. So they go for a Thunderbolt. It's going to do good damage. Mm. We might live another one. We might live another one. Let's Thrasherize into a Fighting type. This is our last chance to win this. We need to weaken this Ampharos to the point where Magneton can have its way. That's what we need to do. We need to weaken it. So we'll Terrestrialize into a Fighting type. We'll get a nice and powerful plus two boosted Body Press off. Stab. Now thanks to Terrestrialization. Let's hope he does enough damage to the Ampharos. Let's hope he does enough damage. So let's go for it. It nearly gets the KO, which is amazing. As they go for another T-Bolt, and that's going to be able to take us out, unfortunately. So down goes Oinkalone. But Oinkalone did some work this game. Oinkalone definitely did some work this game, which is amazing. Um, it's just unfortunate that we couldn't get it to sweep or anything like that. So we've got a couple of options. We've got a couple of options, and I mean a couple. We go with Magneton right now. We go Magneton right now. Magneton KOs with Volt Switch here, I believe. Could be wrong. Could be really wrong. Um, Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Let's go for the Thunderbolt play. And the reason I'm going for Thunderbolt and not Volt Switch is because, A, I don't think Volt Switch's low power would have been able to KO the Ampharos. I think it would have been left alive. And we don't want Quaxwell, you know, walking into an Ampharos. That's definitely not what we want. No way, Jose. 
In comes the Dragonair. This is where it gets tricky. So Dragonair Shiny, which looks absolutely amazing. I love Shiny Dragonair. It's so cool. And um, what we need to do here is we need to go into our Quaxwell. We need to go Quaxwell. Quaxwell is the be all and end all here. So we'll go to Donald Duck over here. Nice and powerful. They go for a Dragon Dance. And here's the thing. Most people 9 out of 10 times go for a second Dragon Dance right now. They usually try and set up the sweep because he knows my choice. He knows my Magneton is choice scarfed. He's going to try and Dragon Dance again. So we'll go for an Encore. We go for an Encore. They're going to Terrestrialize already. Oh, wow. Okay, so what are they going to Terrestrialize into? What are they going to Terrestrialize into? A normal type. So they're going for that Extreme Speed Strap, which is fair enough. Absolutely fine by me. I don't mind that at all. Absolutely fine by me. Um, it means they're no longer weak, uh, resistant to electricity, so that's fine by me. Extreme Speed is going to do a decent chunk of damage to us as we're able to go for an Encore. I was really hoping we could Encore it into going for Dragon Dance again and again and again and again and again. But we can't, unfortunately, um, as we're now we're going to have to go for a Liquidation to get some damage off. So they go for an Extreme Speed. Can we live one more? Come on, Quaxwell. You can't live one more because he got a critical hit. That is unfortunate. Quaxwell did really good there, though. I mean, he didn't. He didn't do anything, but, you know, it's whatever. So, anyway, let's go into Magnezone. Magneton. Now, Magneton has one option. Thunderbolt, Paralysis, Fully Paralyzed, Thunderbolt again, and then a KO the Houndoom with a Thunderbolt. That's the only way we got to do this. So, they go for an Extreme Speed. It's going to do some decent damage to Magneton. Plus one after all, and it's Terrestrialized Normal boosted. We go for a T-Bolt. Able to do a lot of damage. No Paralysis. Magneton, it all comes down to you. It all comes down to Magneton right now. Extreme Speed comes through. Can we live one more? No crits. There we go. No crits allowed. No crits allowed as we go for another T-Bolt. And that's going to be able to take out the Dragonair. So, they might not know we're Scarfed. They might not know we're Scarfed. So, they might not go for a Sucker Punch with a Houndoom. I don't see Sucker Punch on Houndoom very often. They usually have Terror Blast and two fire options. Or maybe even Nasty Plot sometimes. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So Stealth Rocks are there. Can Magneton win this game for us? Can they not have Sucker Punch? And can we KO with Thunderbolt? How do we very frail? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out right now. There we go. We have speed. Go for a Thunderbolt. Aren't able to get the KO on the Houndoom as they go for a Flamethrower and take our Magneton out. So that was a really close game. Came really close. Um, there was some unfortunate crits there against the Dracloak. Um, Dracloak 1 I don't think mattered. The Extreme Speed against the Quaxley... Quaxwell did matter, I think, because we're physically defensive with Eviolite and based on the previous Extreme Speed damage, but it might not have mattered at the same time. I think it was a roll anyway. Um, so yeah, GG um, Lionel, that was a pretty fun game. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.